All right, what's up everybody? This is Mike Deary from Rock Guitar Power, and I'm here to show you a video on how to do artificial harmonics. We also call them pinch harmonics. So these are a little bit different from natural harmonics. Um, when you do natural harmonics, you simply put your finger on top of either the 12th, 7th, or 5th fret to get uh, a harmonic happening. Okay? But the problem with natural harmonics is that they could only be done on those three strings. Pinch harmonics or artificial harmonics can be done anywhere. The technique's a little bit tricky, but uh, hopefully this video will give you some ideas on how to make it easier. Now, the first two things that we want to try and have in place to make this as simple as possible are, number one, um, a guitar with humbucker pickups. They're a little bit more active and they're hotter and they pick up more tone. So if you have a, hum, uh, a guitar with humbuckers in it, it'll help out a lot. The other thing you want is a lot of distortion. Heavy distortion also helps pick up these artificial harmonics better. So to get them sounding better and make it easier to do, make sure you crank your distortion or gain. Okay? Now, let's talk about the technique and what's actually happening. We're going to call these, we call them pinch harmonics because we're actually pinching the string a certain way in our right hand. A lot of this, well most of this technique has to do with our right hand and how we go about picking the string. So the first thing we want to do when we have our pick is that we don't want to show a lot of surface area. So if I hold the pick like this, I don't want to have a lot of surface area shown here. So I want to make sure that when I hold the pick, I hold it very close to the end where not much of the pick is actually showing. Okay. Now the other thing that I want to do is turn my thumb a little bit sideways like this. Okay, this is because when I hit the string, I want a combination of the pick to hit and the skin from my thumb at the same time. Okay, so let's start out by trying this out on the G string. Now before we use our left hand to fret an actual note, what we're going to do is just find out where we can get a harmonic up high on the string. Now when we do these, it actually matters a lot on where exactly you pick the string, okay? So what I'm going to do is experiment by trying to find out where a harmonic is just by using my left hand to lightly touch the string. Okay, so you can see that I found two in different spots. Here's one, and then the other one is right around here between the two pickups. So this is the area I'm going to want to try to hit first with my right hand. So now if I don't involve my left hand at all, what I'm going to do is again, turn my hand sideways a little bit, and I'm going to use the pick and the skin from my thumb right along the edge here to try and hit at the same time. You also want to use it a very aggressive hit. You don't want to be very light and calm with it. You want to try and hit it pretty hard. Okay, so you can see if I do one there, I can get it to ring out with just my right hand. A little bit harder to do higher, but I can still manage. So now let's go ahead and fret the seventh fret on the G string. Okay, now we're going to just try to hit this note normal first. Okay, so we get our standard note out, and that sounds fine. Now for the artificial harmonic, I'm going to again use this technique where I don't show much surface area. I'm going to turn my, um, my pick sideways a little bit so that my skin and my pick hit the string at the same time. Now I want to experiment with going up and down the string to find the sweet spot to get it to ring out. Okay, there's one. And again, I can get a, different, a few different tones out of it, but I want to find one that really holds well. So if I take my right hand off, I could still get the note ringing out. Okay. All right, there's another one in the D string. All right, they sound good with a little bit of vibrato too. The big thing is to be patient and experiment a lot with where you're picking the note. And be aggressive and it's a lot of combination of being patient and just trying to find the right way to hold the pick. 
Um, they can be done anywhere. They're easier to do actually on the wound strings. Once you get to um, the B or E string, they tend to get a little bit harder to do, but you could still get them. And they're fun up there because you can really get a good screaming note when you get them. Um, for example, right there. Alright, so they're a lot of fun to do too on the big E string if you can get them to ring out well. Zach Wilde's a very, um, he uses this technique a lot, so you could hear it in a lot of his records and songs that he does with uh, Black Label Society or Ozzy. But anyways, uh, I'll do a couple more techniques here so you could watch what I'm doing and hopefully get the hang of it yourself. <laughs> You know you got it really good when you can hit the note and have it just ring out by itself. Alright, good. So that's pinch harmonics or artificial harmonics. Again, be patient, um, crank up that distortion, and just experiment a lot with where you're hitting it and how you're using your right hand. Have fun with that, and we'll see you soon.